Hello, pre-algebra, and welcome back. This is the last lesson before our quiz. We have proportional and non-proportional relationships. We're going to be talking about the constant of proportionality, if it is proportional. How do you know if something is proportional? All you have to do is check to make sure all of these ratios are the same. If they're not the same, it is not proportional. If they are the same, it is proportional. Okay, um, what you do is you divide the y by the x. Okay. All right, so let's take a look at a few things here. When you have a vertical table like this, x comes first, y comes second, and you always divide the y by the x. It, it could work, x divided by y, but almost always we divide y by x. And you'll see why when we do the equation later on. 3 divided by 1 is 3. 6 divided by 2 is 3. And 9 divided by 3 is 3. 12 divided by 4 is 3. Since all of these quotients are 3, this is a proportion. And the constant of proportionality it, which is a unit rate, is 3. Okay, so that's your constant of proportionality. So let's determine, number one, are the number of legs a spider has proportional to the number, right? So that's the x, the number of spiders. Is it proportional to the number of legs? 8 divided by 1 is 8. 16 divided by 2 is 8. 24 divided by 3 is 8. And 32 divided by 4 is 8. So yes, this is a proportion. And the constant of proportionality is 8. All right, wonderful. On to the next page. Let's take a look at this one. Uh, we have the number of ice cubes and the number of drinks. So X comes first with a horizontal table. Y comes second. 6 divided by 1 is 6. 14 divided by 2 is 7. So right there, it's not equal. So this is not a proportion I can tell. But let's keep going. 22 divided by 3 is 7 and 1 third. Also not equal. So it looks like as you get more drinks, you have to put in more ice cubes for some reason. So... Uh, how do I know it is not proportional? Because the quotients increase, right? They're going up. So anytime it is proportional, what I can do is I can write an equation, and it's going to be in this format. Y equals K. K is that constant we were talking about. X. So the so if this were proportional, the number of ice cubes would equal that constant times the number of drinks. So let's put that into play here. Uh, we, oh, my video's in the way, but I think I, we can get by with it. We can read all the important stuff. The cost for two and a half pounds of meat is $7.20. Find the constant of proportionality, then write an equation for the cost to pounds. So Y equals something times X. 720 is the Y divided by, what's the x? Two and a half pounds of meat. So we're going to take 720, $7.20 divided by two and a half pounds of meat is $2.88 is our constant of proportionality, our k. So that goes right in here in the sweet spot. This will always go in the same spot, no matter what. Whatever our unit rate is, whatever our constant of proportionality is, it goes right in there next to the x because you take whatever the X is times the constant and it gives you the Y. So I can predict for 10 pounds of meat or one pound of meat or 100 pounds of meat. So this would be good in business. I could use this to predict to help supply my business for the future, for the week, for the day, for the month. Now, how much will four pounds cost? So I'm gonna plug the four in here. 288 times four is 11.52. So it would be $11.52. For four pounds of meat. All right, and there you have it. That is it for uh, proportional and non-proportional relationships. If you have any questions, see me in class, shoot me an email or message on Canvas. Do whatever it takes to dominate this lesson. Talk to you soon.